My friends, welcome back to the channel. Definitely want to thank you for stopping by today. Today we have something top secret, something that not many people know about. And it's the secret variant of the compact bolt cutters. Uh, I haven't seen anybody talk about them on the internet. Um, haven't seen anybody even so much as mention this variant, but I want to bring this to you guys today to let you know that there is another option for your compact bolt cutters. So what is this secret variant? I have actually mentioned these bolt cutters in prior videos. And to be truthful with you guys, when I first got my first pair of Knipex uh, compact bolt cutters, I didn't even realize that I actually got this variant until I started doing a little bit more research on it and I started getting other pairs of uh, Cobalts. What I noticed was is there is this R designation and there's a lot of misconception about that R. So what that R actually stands for is robust. It doesn't stand for recess. And I'm sure most people know that Kinepex does have a recess version of their compact bolt cutters. And that's what these are. As you can see, there's a recess in the jaw. Now, if you look at the model number, you don't see that R designation, right? With these, there's no recess in the jaw whatsoever, but here's that R designation. So what does that R designation mean? So there are some differences between this model and the 7101-200s without the R designation. Those are the regular uh, bolt cutters. So the main difference between the two are the actual hardness of the jaws. Now, Everything else about this plier is the same except for the hardness. So the hardness on the R designation is approximately 62 HRC. On the 7101-200s, it is 64 HRC. So the regular bolt cutters actually have harder jaws. Now, what does that mean and why would Knipex have a variant that has softer jaws, but they're designated as being robust? So the reason why is, is the softer metal allows you to put more pressure on the sides of the jaws without breaking them. The harder the metal, the more brittle it is. The softer the metal, the more resilient it is. Now, there are some drawbacks to having uh, softer jaws, and what those drawbacks are is that these are not rated to cut the, the same hardness of material that your standard cobalts are. So the maximum rated cutting capacity for the R designation is just hard wire up to four millimeter. The regular version can cut up to 3.6 millimeter piano wire now there's a difference in hardness between piano wire and hard wire. You have soft wire, which is like your coppers. Then you have, you know, your medium hard, which is gonna be like nails and stuff like that. And then your hard is gonna be something more closer to like a, a screw, for instance. And then you have your piano wire, which is your high carbon uh, spring steel, uh, which is much harder than, you know, just your regular screws or your regular hard materials. Uh, so that's basically the four hardnesses that they rate these cutters on. These are actually not rated to be able to cut that higher echelon of hard material like spring steels and piano wire and such. But they are a more resilient option because they are a softer metal. So that is kind of the downside of having these. Now, what these are, the primary purpose of having this model with the softer jaws is, like I said before, they allow you to put pressure on the sides of the jaws without that metal breaking. Now, these are still capable of cutting any nail up to, you know, 16 penny or even higher. I mean, these things still cut just like, you know, these would if they were, you know, the same length. However, these are going to be more for, you know, doing uh, fencing work and twisting wire. So you have that option with these. You're not really going to want to do that with these because you run the risk of putting too much pressure 
on the side of the jaws. I'll demonstrate for you guys probably the hardest material you're going to cut unless you're, um, you know, you're doing like you're in machining work and uh, working with a lot of high carbon steels. You're, the hardest stuff you're really ever going to come across is, is, you know, like nails or even screws. And these are more than capable of cutting, you know, this is a 10 penny, this is an eight penny nail. And with ease, these are able to cut these. Now, these are the 160 millimeter uh, cobalts, and these have the recess. And even these guys do just fine, you know, cutting these. Now, I will say with the recess, the recess can be, can get in your way a little bit. If you're cutting uh, smaller diameter um, objects, a lot of times the recess won't allow you to cut completely through it but if you're cutting something you know up to about a eight penny nail and over you can most certainly use that recess and it works just fine now all of the cobalts have this laser etching which allows you to be able to grip material now where these come in handy is when you're doing fencing um, you're installing fences things like that where you're taking wire and you might have to you know twist the wire and not necessarily you know cut it now this is a lot softer metal and uh, there's definitely harder uh, fencing wire that you can use these with here is uh, some fencing staples now these are about 16 penny if you were to compare them to a uh, just a regular nail and you can see how how thick these are and I mean these are probably to be honest with you probably thicker than a 16 penny nail but you have the ability to still be able to cut these fencing staples and if you need to bend and manipulate it as you can see so that's putting a lot of pressure on the side of these jaws and you you certainly have the ability to do that with these that may not be a task that you would want to do with your regular coal bolts although even the 160s cut pretty dang easy and that is all i have for you guys today i definitely want to stop and thank you guys for being a part of the community especially those of you who have subscribed and anybody who is thinking about subscribing please do. I would certainly appreciate that. And make sure you like the video so the YouTube algorithm will recommend the, the video to more people. I would greatly appreciate that. And also, if you want to support the channel, uh, I would definitely appreciate that. If you are thinking about getting one of these tools that I've showed here today, uh, you can use my affiliate link, which will be in the description for not only KC Tool, but also Amazon, where you can uh, compare to see what the availability is and prices so you get the best deal. I definitely want my supporters to get the best deal so I give you guys at least another option buying these tools. Um, and if you would like, there is a little button underneath the video that says thanks where you can donate to the channel. If you do choose to do that, I would certainly appreciate that, but that's not something that you have to do. Uh, but that is an option if you would like to support the channel. That is all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you all again for stopping by, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.